All right, for this core sequence, you're gonna need a mini band. So we're gonna take the mini band, position it just below your knees. And first exercise, we're gonna elevate into a bridge and then staying in that bridge, we're gonna go through 20 clamshells or basically knees out, knees in. So make sure you hinge from the hips. Don't change your low back position. Engage the pelvic floor first, weight on the heels, outward pressure on the band, and I'm up. All right, make sure you're not driving movement through your low back. One way to do that is tuck your chin. So go ahead and cradle your head, keep your chin tucked. Now we're staying in the glutes and 20 times. One, two, don't worry about going too wide. If you go too wide, that band's gonna slide down. Five, six, seven, eight, 10. If you start to feel more low back, hamstring, or something other than your glutes, go ahead and go down. 14, 15, or to 20. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, position the band around your toes, really around the arch of your foot and where your shoelaces would be. So we're gonna do mountain climbers, keep them resisted. So good push-up position. And your main key here is don't sag the back on the way out, don't round the back on the way forward. So we're looking to stay neutral right through that midsection or lumbopelvic area as we're going through hip movement. So my knee is tracking towards the same side armpit, all the way back and then the other side, 10 times. No movement of the low back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. All right, let's bring the band back up just below your knees. So modified position, we're gonna do a, basically a dynamic side plank and then a clamshell with it, a little bit of resistance. So start out with your hips behind your elbow and your knee. You're gonna hinge up and forward at the same time and do a clamshell 10 times. Hinge back and down, hinge up and forward, pry the clam open, two, Three, that hinging back and forward is to protect your low back so we don't get into a bunch of lateral flexing. Six, seven, you ought to feel both lateral hips working. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, other side. So we're gonna hinge up and forward. One, two, Three, keep your feet together. Four, but open the clamshell. Five, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, this next one's gonna seem a little bit goofy and I uh, get it. Let's go ahead and do this in tall kneeling. We're gonna throw in an element of controlling everything through your midsection. Side view is gonna be a little more helpful. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't go into a big arch. So tall kneeling, control the lumbopelvic position. Our tendency is to go into a big anterior pelvic tilt. What we wanna do is rotate it back into a neutral position. Band's gonna go around your wrist. So you're gonna maintain as much separation through the band as possible. Starting at shoulder height, you're simply gonna separate the blades, squeeze. As you do this, we're gonna slowly work our way up in arm position. Keep outward tension on the band. And then we're gonna work our way back down. So this is fairly imprecise and I get that. So I'm gonna do two trips of it. Keep that separation. Shoulders ought to be heating up pretty good right now. Back side of the shoulder between the blades what we're not looking for is a bunch of upper trap activity and then work our way back down. Keep that separation and then down. Whew. All right, fire hydrants to wrap this one up. Sorry, fire hydrants and then we're gonna do a little soccer pass. Check that, I'm gonna give you one more adjustment. Run primer and then we're gonna go to the soccer pass. So with the run primer, we're gonna bring the knee up above waist height Get your arms in your run motion, and we're gonna come down, turn the toe out, knee out, and move the leg away from the body. Knee tracks to the armpit all the time, back down, turn
turn it out, move it away. Two, 10 times, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, now number 10, don't ground that foot. So foot's still in the air. Now we're gonna go 10, kind of like a little touch soccer pass. One, two, cross the body. Three, four, just to bring the adductors in. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, and 10. Same thing on the other side. Starting with the run primer, knee above waist height. Neutral position through the low back, down and out. Turn that knee out, toes out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and 10. All right, stay on that foot. Don't let the other one touch. 10 touch, touch soccer passes. Two, three, four, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and 10. All right, you can either start the video over and go back through it two more times, or just turn it off if you remember them all and do two more rotations of this.